Sijui nitasema nini kwa sababu hii ni furaha. Ni furaha kubwa kwa sababu imekuwa kama vita ambayo tulianza 2006. Wakati huo ndio tulianza kuona madhara ya Opuntia katika sehemu yetu. So after Mid Francis he told me about the problem up here like he said and I came up here one weekend and we discussed it and I said hey we have a solution and I went to my bosses in Cabby and I said hey you know can we get some money some funding to help the community here and Cabby made some funding available the Cabby Development Fund and I was able to uh, introduce the cochineal into Kenya You can't see it with your eye. Bigger, bigger than a pin yeah. The plant does, she does. But what she does, is she's constantly laying eggs. You see, there are literally probably hundreds and hundreds of insects. What's happened here is the cochineal has come here on its own. So we've released it elsewhere, and uh, the nymphs, or so the crawlers, have been blown by the wind. They've established in the plants here. And as you see, they've, they've done really well. They've killed the majority of cactus plants on this hill. I mean, a few months ago, you can walk up here, and most of the hills around here, you, you wouldn't be able to walk up. But now it's opening everything up. Uh, the natural vegetation will start coming through again, and uh, the ecology, the natural ecology of this place will be restored. One of the reasons why we were able to license is because we have considered and observed it and found it to be very host-specific. Uh, if you look at uh, Savo National Park, this Opuntia is devastating the landscape there too. And therefore, if this is successful here, we hope to upscale it to other sections of this country or other parts of the country. And then perhaps uh, in a short while, hopefully not a long time, we can declare this experiment a success.